Okay, it's been a really long time since I've done a rant. Like a rant blog, a rant video, a rant anything. And half the time when I rant, I just end up deleting them anyway. Nobody gets to experience the joy that does one of my crazy Jess rants. But today, Lord Jesus, today I'm going to have to rant, okay? I'm going to try to make this short, but here we go. All right, I got a nine-month-old foster son. Everybody knows this. He's the light of my life. And he grows quickly. And he's not walking yet, but he's standing up. And he needs some decent shoes to wear to daycare. So I don't look like the Hot Mess Express mom who has my baby wearing the same pair of falling apart stride rights to daycare every day, okay? So I'm like, all right, well, I don't wanna spend a lot of money. So I've already checked out Carter's and their shoes are expensive. So I'm not gonna spend, you know, buy them there. I've been to Walmart, I've been to Target. You know, I don't see anything I like. I'm picky, I like my son to look good, sorry. All right, so I'm like, all right, well, what if I go to Once Upon a Child? Because clearly they probably have like barely worn shoes, you know, and their baby stuff. Cause isn't that what the whole freaking store is? Barely used children's stuff? Isn't that the premise of the store? Girl, bye. I just left there. And first of all, let me just say, that I got started off on the wrong foot because they have crammed so much crap in our local location that you can barely walk through it, okay? Now, Lord help you if you have a stroller with your child in it. It's a, it's a shot in the dark. You might as well hang it up. You might as well get one of those kangaroo pouches and wear your kid because that's the only way you're fitting through there. And uh, I mean, I've lost a lot of weight. So if my skinny butt and my stroller can barely fit through there, there's no help for none of y'all, okay? So that's what's up. Anyway, so I go in there and I can barely move around. So that already got me all ill. So <laughs> then I finally find the shoes. Okay, they're on the back wall. And you gotta, you know, get a discovery pass to ride an Amtrak train to get over there because there's so much crap to get to the back corner. But you finally get back there three days later. You should have packed a lunch. Anyway, you finally get back there. And there's just these bins of shoes, you know, and it seems like a good idea. They're already, you know, hooked together. So you're not gonna be missing one. They've already got a price tag on them. So great. I mean, that sounds really good, right? Okay, no, these shoes are nasty. Like I'm talking like used up, crinkly, foot fungus looking nasty shoes. Now kids get dirty. I get that. I totally get that. But I'm looking at infant shoes. Infant shoes. Like, these kids don't even walk yet. How are these shoes this nasty? I just gotta know. And more importantly, once upon a child, you paid somebody for these shoes. And then you just put a price tag on them and shoved them up on the shelf. <sighs> Lord, help me. All right, so here's where it really went downhill and why I left all pissed off out here filming a rant video about to go in Target the Lord's place anyway so I finally found a pair of shoes for little baby K a little black pair of Adidas sneakers super cute decently taken care of kinda velcro still in good condition it's not falling apart with strings popping out like our stride rights are there's no junk stuck to the Velcro, like our stride rights. Okay. Go to put them on his feet. Y'all. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. There's legit dog poo on the bottom of these shoes. Like poop. Dog poop on the bottom of these shoes. Yet, for some reason, they just slapped a little tag on them and put it for sale and put them in the bin with the rest of the shoes. Why? I, why? I mean, you're already charging me $5.50 for the used shoes, which is not a bad deal. They're Adidas shoes, I get it. But where's the, the dog poop discount? Where's the I can barely move or breathe to move around your store discount? Huh? What about that? That's how I feel right now. 
I would rather, I feel like that lady on Facebook, the I would rather lady, I don't know what her real name is. She's so funny though. And she always does a little voiceover with a little, anyway, whatever, y'all know who she is. I would rather roll around in glass while somebody lights me on fire than to ever go back to Once Upon a Child, first of all. Second of all, I would rather have to eat ramen noodles all week because I use my grocery money to buy shoes for my son at Target that are brand new. So I don't have to deal with that mess because that was nasty. I mean, oh, it stinks in there first of all. It's not organized. You got too much crap in there. You literally have dog crap on some of the shoes. And the shoes are filthy. And I've yet to figure out why, because infants don't walk. They shouldn't be that nasty. But whatever. And what do I know? Lord. I'm going to go on Target and spend $100. That's what I'm going to do. 50 of that's probably going to be in Starbucks, but whatever. That's neither here nor there. Anyway, my rant's over. I did, the, the struggle is real. Like, I know I cannot be the only mom that has gone into Once Upon a Child or one of those consignment stores and is like, what the actual frank and beans is going on up in here? Because this is some stupid mess. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful blessed day. I'm going to try to calm down. I'm not going to rant. I'm going to try to be nice to everybody in Target today. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. All right, bye.